What is going on, all my faithful YouTube viewers? It's your boy, Uber to the Izzle to the Bizzle to the what the fuck? Uber's going off. You sure this is Uber guy playing? I don't think this is Uber guy playing. He's just hitting all those goddamn shots. <clears throat> nope, this is your boy, Uber guy. <laughs> I tell you what, this is this is most definitely going on my montage. Like this first little. I literally kill, what was that? That's fire. That's bloodthirsty. Oh, blame the black guy. That's raping these guys. Could have got that guy if I wasn't uh, fucking around. Ooh, six nasty cleanup kills. Shoot the guy straight in his fucking chest. Throw out your little boopity bop airplane that doesn't fucking get shit. And then I get taken out by a shotgun. Well, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for that little kill feed. What's going on? It's your favorite commentator, Uber Guy here, bringing to you a free for all, my favorite game type. Yes, free for all, master, master, master. Um, I, I, you know, I, I love doing me a little quick scope here and there. Um, this is better than the original Black Ops as far as quick scoping. I, I will give this game that. Um, it is still doesn't compare to Modern Warfare 3, my opinion, of course. But a lot of people say, you know, they love this quick scoping. It's perfect. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I still say this one is a little bit more perk orientated. Um, you know, you can't get it all. Can't get it all. You just can't get it all in one COD, you know. If I go back to COD 4, that was just, it's just the simplicity of the game was beautiful. Wouldn't change a thing, you know. And then they came out with Modern Warfare 2. Another beautiful, you know, quick scoping really set off in Modern Warfare 2. Phase Clan came out, and then, you know, Optic was still doing their little uh, tournaments back then for COD 4, you know. Then Black Ops, Black Ops 1 came out, and that was the changing point, you know. They track was like, fuck quick scoping, you know, we're, we're with the noobs on this one. Uh, all the kids that do that quick scoping shit where they zoom in real fast with their fucking scopes and they kill people. That shit is stupid. Hate that stupid shit. Uh, are you, you, there was really, really content for me from Black Ops. Um, I did play it. I did do a little bit quick scoping, a little bit of uh, gameplays here and there, a few commentaries, but I really didn't like it. What, what can you do? You can't complain too, too much. And then they came out with Modern Warfare 3. Uh, a lot of the fanboys that didn't like it, that kept getting spawn killed, kept getting moabbed and shit, they hated it. They hated it for the number one reason that, bum bum bum, it was a fast paced action type gameplay, just like Mono Warfare 2, and they were so used to Black Ops that they didn't want to make that fucking transition. That's all what that is. That's all what that is. See, I'm not a hypocrite when it comes to this, guys. When I say I don't like a game, I, I don't say, oh, I hate this fucking game. I only give it, like, uh, maybe a TDM, a few searches, a few DOMs, a few free for alls, and say, fuck this game, I hate this game. I'm not that way. I'm, I'm, I'm a type of a person where I will give the game, I would give the game at least two and a half months of my time because it takes time to learn the maps it takes time to learn the spawns it takes time to learn how fucking enemies work how they move how they play how they think it takes time to learn certain aspects of the game the fundamentals the fun the, man, what the fuck's all that noise out there the fundamentals of ba of just basically the, you know the <clears throat> I want to say the 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 limelight <laughs> for easier terms in this, but <clears throat> you know you you have to learn certain aspects of the game. You just can't fucking say you hate the game just because you played it like twice. Makes no sense, people. Let's be reasonable now. If that was the case in fucking life, you do what? You try skateboarding. How many times did Rob Deerdeck fall on his ass, break his shoulder? Before he said, you know, oh, I hate this shit. You know what? He never gave up. He he always kept the dream alive. He always kept initiative. He, you know what I mean? You just don't give up. Stop giving up too easy in life, guys. You, we give up. 
too easy on everything, especially on a fucking video game, something that means nothing, you know, it may mean something to some people that are making money off of it, I'm not one of the motherfuckers, the lucky motherfuckers that are, but hey, can't hate them if they do, <clears throat> off that side note, guys, I'm just trying to say, just, just give it a chance, give it a real chance, give give your full try hardness try everything you want to try i say give it about a month of gameplay not because i know some some people play games differently within a month i play maybe about i want to say four to six hours every day during like the co the course of the whole day and then that's it for that day and then i try again tomorrow you know i get sleepy you know just try to approach the game with a different attitude because you know, I, at times I do approach the game where I just felt like, you know what, fuck this game. I don't know how I didn't see that guy. I didn't see him in normal gameplay, but whatever. Um, sometimes I, I do have my bad days where I'm missing my shots. I'm getting hit markers. I, I'm just not on. Like, my shot is, I'm just not feeling my shot or, you know, uh, I'm using, like, I'm using every gun that I can, the MSMC, the PW, the snipers, I, I can't find nothing, and nothing's working for me. When, when when those days happen, it is good just to take a break from the game, go outside, clear, clear your head, you know, sunlight is a beautiful thing once in a while, gamers. Um, take a shower once in a while, talk to your girlfriend, you know, see how the world is, get your mind out of a game mindset, go back in two three days later maybe and then boom you know you got your shot back you know you could tomahawk niggas across map all of a sudden you're just doing shit that you couldn't normally do you're just you're, you're, you're giving yourself a break everybody needs a break from everything same thing goes for people that are going to work every day you know nine to fives five days a week i've did that fucking customer service you know just thinking sitting on your ass <clears throat> wouldn't be doing too much of anything as far as work but you know when you're you're constantly dealing with customers day in day out they don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're telling them to click start click start they're like where the fuck is starting you're just looking at yourself like holy shit i'm gonna lose my brain because this motherfucker doesn't know where the start button is it <laughs> it's simple shit in our lives that we take for granted guys and i must say it is a burden just be patient like my job really did take patience but i'm not working there anymore uh, i think and then i moved from there to eps that was only seasonal that ended after the end of december and then i'm currently looking for another job right now but i did get a beast ass sniper gameplay <laughs> see you guys next